Hello, people. It's Omega Smash, and this is Akiba. And, <laughs> and we're playing. We're playing a, a pretty special game today. We're playing. We're, we're we're actually doing a video of a game from a console, from the Nintendo GameCube on the Wii. We're playing a game called Evolution's Worlds, the GameCube edition. It's a. I forgot where I put the box. It, this is supposed to be a special edition released for the GameCube only. <laughs> you don't know if you can see that. I know. <laughs> uh, it's supposed to be a special edition that was released for the GameCube only. It's supposed to be a combination of the two PlayStation <laughs> games of Evolution World. The first, you know, there was basically there's the first one, there's the sequel. And so, basically, they combined the two into one game for the GameCube. Yeah, we're playing it now. Haven't played much of it. I've only played the very beginning. As you can see, this is a very classy, classic type game. Uh, and, uh, okay, you gotta do something about that. Do I have to constantly do this? Um, probably actually don't. Probably keep recording. But, um, uh, I'm gonna start the watch. We're gonna start a new game. We're gonna start with the Rumble On. If they even know. But they care. <laughs> I don't care. It's the like rumble's the... already going. <laughs> yeah, it... I chose this game mostly because it's very funny to me. Wow, I like how it just begins right yeah. there. Yeah, we go right up into the action with this classic RPG is thing, frying pan action. Tell swap and action. <laughs> and, um. Let me see, what do I have? Um, I have a hammer part. Let's use that. Use the mega hammer. Beat this mouse with mega hammer. Magma hammer. Magna. Magna hammer. Who cares? <laughs> I care. Okay. It's not like we're having I'm some sort of vocabulary quiz. And, oh. I'm sorry, I'm strict with enunciation. We're in the sun's temple. Problem. And it seeing has part, voice actors too. You can still go wow, that actually looks pretty good. Yeah. yeah, yeah, we're using new recording software, in case you guys are wondering what you're referencing. Good. It's are more grayed out than this, but shh, actually, I like this grayer color. Yeah, yeah, the hey, TV is. This? It's like kind of red. Oh, it's a good TV. This is the original. Yeah, that's the original. So let's do it. But his hair is more close to the, that one than this. <laughs> well, that's how my TV normally makes a screen look like. And this is how the TV looks like because of the dazzle look. This has to be a trap. Yeah, it's so obvious it has to be a trap, huh? <laughs> See, I'm smarter than the average dude with goggles. I wonder if, even if we don't think this video is good, we could at least put a random video on that. I do like how he's like, I, I bet this is a trap, and then something starts to like trap him in there, and the girl just walks in with him. <laughs> yeah. Dude's like, she's outside of trap, and was like, I'm going with him. Yeah. Run! Wow. Run, you what airhead! A run! What, a dick. <laughs> <laughs> what was she doing? Um, I don't. I've only played a little bit, but she's supposed to be kind of on the slow side. At least when I can tell. So her feet can't tell that this hand is shaking. She doesn't know that's a dangerous thing. <laughs> also, she doesn't know how to talk. <laughs> But I'm okay. I'm not hurt. What about you? Are you hurt? Something flew by. Huh? Hey, linear. Her name's linear. Oh, that actually suits a lot. <laughs> That's her personality. <laughs> that shakes. <laughs> yes. They wouldn't see it, but. <laughs> yeah, but I felt I should have said her name due to the fact that her she'll never have a text box that says her name. Since he has no speaking. Yeah. Yeah, that has to be on top of the picture. The treasure. 
I want dogs like those and just walk around with it. <laughs> well, well. Mag Larson. You're going on an adventure with that scaredy cat girl, huh? Uh, I actually wouldn't really call her scaredy cat. She faced an earthquake without <laughs> being shaken. <laughs> That's why it this, this reminds me of like a Saturday morning cartoon. This this game a lot. I'm an adventurer too, you know. And finders keepers is the only rule among adventurers. It's also the only rule among five year olds. Yeah. Yeah, all these kids have something called a side frame, which is like technology that children can operate that gives them special power. Well, not really special power. He can fly, and the other dude got a hammer. I heard this loud noise, and saw you guys running for your lives. Sorry, you You know what that linear girl reminds me of? Whenever I see her face, I'm thinking hockey. You know that white hair? Oh, yeah, it's kind of dumb. I know, right? I think about it. Except more dull than depressed. <laughs> yeah. And probably doesn't have a beer bottle in her hands, and hair is not white. <laughs> yeah. See, to me, that just really looks like hockey. <laughs> trying to figure out is chain a guy. <laughs> I can't tell when they have five-year-old voices. Because <laughs> like when I was playing this game the entire time, I was like, I can't tell if he's a dude or a guy. I mean, a girl or a guy. I mean, yes, it looks like a guy, but it could just be a girl that likes to look like a guy. Yeah, it was like, it, was like, it could be like a really tomboyish girl, or it could be a dude who's just a dick. How dare you! You jerk! What I think it's a boy, though. Now I'm thinking it's a girl. <laughs> Don't even try, dude. It's just, it's, you're just gonna keep going back and forth. That's what I was going for when I was when I was playing this game. I was like, there's some points where it's like, that's gotta be a girl. And then I'm probably like, dude. Get that little chunk off you. Oh, uh, it reminds me of this one manga I read. It was called Change One Two Three. Yeah. Um, apparently there's this random tribal kid out in the streets of Japan, uh, out of nowhere. Are you trying to turn it up? Well, I just want to turn it up one notch. I put it too. Because I'm, I'm trying to put it at a spot where it's loud enough to hear, but not loud enough to disturb people back here. Yeah. So anyway, Change One Two Three. There's this tribal kid. You know, just in Japan, and everybody's looking at him because he's like just wearing this oh, tribal shirt and a spear. I won't make any money on this and apparently, this, she, this tribal kid is trying to search for a person that moved to Japan. Yeah. Yeah. The main character boy found uh, this tribal kid, and um, you know, stuff happens. He has to take care of her. Yeah. Her tribal kid. Cause, nah, I just ruined it. But anyway, <laughs> it looks just like oh, a guy. Man. This shirtless, oh, flat chest. You know. I can just see. But, um, like, he made her take a shower, and, like, he accidentally interrupted her to go to the bathroom. He, like, looked down. Like, he was so shocked that he just closed the door, and, like, his memory just zapped away. Oh. That was totally a dude. Oh. <laughs> I'm, like, thinking, wow. She passes so much as a boy, she can just go shirtless. So you take away that skirt. Makes you think, it, uh, like, if they just knew, uh, like, they don't know it was a girl, but technically, she just ran around the streets. I like sure how I think that's what I see. Yeah. You reach your destination, and are about to begin collecting the treasure. I like, I like now how everyone knows about my last check on the internet. <laughs> <laughs> but Chain Gun beats you to it. Your mission ends in Chain failure, gun. and you get nothing from the It's society. like a manly name. <laughs> Uh, that about sums it up, yes? <laughs> I'm sorry. 
I'd like to say that's probably the so. dirtiest story I we told so far on Andrew's desk. Sorry. It just makes me think, it's something kind of kiddish, I mean, just, eh. Yeah, it was not, it's not about the plot. <laughs> But it's not about the plot, it's because we kept talking about the kid as a boy or a girl. Money. Not my fault. For generations, the Lodgeup family has produced the most renowned adventurers in these parts. Yeah, he's talking about the, the Lodgeup family. Is it not the Lodgeup family's long-cherished dream to find Evolution, the legendary Cyprey? Yeah, I like how you don't have your instructions with Lady here. I never came with one. They really <laughs> I got it from GameStop. When you get stuff from GameStop, you don't get everything. You get parts of things. I know. You'd be got, lucky if you got the CD. <laughs> I, know. I was thinking, I, this probably happens to all like the Assassin's Creed, the newest ones in the boxes. There's no instructions because they expect you to know if you play the other ones. Oh, wow, really? Yeah. At least I think so because mine didn't come with it. It came with just random papers with bonus content codes that I pre ordered it. Very well. I truly but I have a feeling that's meant to be that way because there are so many tutorials in the game that they felt, you know what, why the heck do we want to make people? Follow the exact opposite. There was, they hardly explained anything of how to do anything. You had to look at the booklet just how to, how to pick up stuff. Yeah, you gotta go online to like figure stuff out. He's downright irresponsible. He's talking about launcher. Mac launcher. Uh, hey, hey. I'm standing right here, you know. Hey, are you even listening to me? Oh, we have a timer right here. 11 minutes. Yeah. Nonetheless, I have served oh, the Lodger family for many years. I have seen many adventurers. My experience tells me that his puzzling confidence is the unmistakable very mark tan, of a true leader. He's very like the sun where he's pale ass. <laughs> <laughs> just like to compare. In case your people are wondering, the recording device makes it look extremely different than what it looks like on the TV. Yeah, the colors are very different. You can see this really white cracker, or this guy who's in New, like California sun tanning or something. Okay, don't use like derogatory. What they said he was going to? I don't know. Amazing! Incredible! It's a jade coin from the third dynasty! Oh, that's so amazing! <laughs> it's so rare to find something from that period, let alone in such perfect <laughs> condition. Yes, his mouth doesn't even move. I know. Legos! He <laughs> <laughs> does look like a Lego. <laughs> no, I couldn't. Is his name Nope the Researcher? Nope, nope, I don't know. <laughs> nope. I like what they use for a name. <laughs> Everyone wears goggles. I know, it's that like the whole world is just a sandstorm. <laughs> what do they need to really shoot? She doesn't have goggles, but... <laughs> she has like sunglasses, though. Uh, yeah, or, or are you right. talking about Linear? Adventure. Linear. Mag launcher today. Well, Linear doesn't... I bet it's sad when you're in her eyes. See, what, it wouldn't even affect her. She'd just sit there. <laughs> She's like, what, what is that strange sensation of irritation in my eye? <laughs> How are you supposed to respond to that? <laughs> you're supposed to respond in pain at the end. Oh. <laughs> what is pain? <laughs> How do I respond? <laughs> Everyone has like a code name. It's like no real name, just no, well, I guess a linear. Have a stranger call me by my first name. Does that mean I'm yeah, he just found some random girl on the street or something. Why of course you're famous. Everyone knows about the decline of the one great launch. <laughs> oh. Uh... 
used to be a 2D thing. By the way, I don't know, I think it's good for its time. says, yes, I'm a deep in thought. <laughs> We get through all this this talking. If we get through it any time soon. Standard lecture again. How could you let that happen, Mike? Yeah. Very funny. You know everything, don't you? Man, I yeah. forgot. Well, since it's just Bobby Sassy's so creation, I forget some of the important science. things. Today's a new episode of Fade Zero. Basically say, you say I'm older than 20, I don't care. I was born. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of experience? That's a veteran. I Over 20? I thought you were 31. Rage! <laughs> All that crazy. But without any pain in the butt monsters. Isn't that what every person who plays an RPG was? I wish I could just go to the dungeon without any annoying monsters. I'm running to a FOB. <laughs> Skyrim is like that, and, and oh my god, Etchy and Odyssey. FO, 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 Man, I just want to say this story again. Anybody play Etchy and Odyssey? <laughs> well, I'm just gonna say it. Got trapped between two foes in a narrow one block hallway. I mean, I can't go left and right away from these. Have no barbed wires, no ninjas to have an escape. So, uh, <laughs> Paladin already died, and you cannot go through a dungeon without a Paladin if you guys know what I'm talking about. Just really impossible. You, you always need one. It's, it's like the white man is on the fall of head. Yeah. But you really can't do a boss fight on the fall of head without the leech one. Yeah. Unless you're stupid. <laughs> or you're like level 99, you're fighting something that requires like a level 20. Or your item. Yeah. And you just stockpile like a hundred potions. Speak to a colleague and make a party. For departure to the dungeon, get on the plane. Yay, people, now we can finally walk and talk and run through each other. Man, because... it's, like, it's like Pokemon Yellow. You have your own Pikachu walking around with you. <laughs> Since it makes less noise. And it's a girl. Which is awesome. Man. I really hate Pika Pika. And I hate the, the, the fact that you have a rat following you all the time. <laughs> Don't they just seem full of energy? <laughs> she doesn't jump. Jump! Oh, now you're done. She just glides more. <laughs> okay, okay. 
Maybe we should probably stop the video here. <laughs> and done.